friends. Welcome back to my craft room. Today, I just thought I'd film a little bit while I'm working on some ATC card backgrounds. Um, this is a technique that I used for a larger page on a journal spread, and it turned out just absolutely adorable. Now, these cards have all been gessoed on both sides. Um, oh, there's two there. I'll use a different one. Okay, so these, yeah, they've all been gessoed. Um, they're kind of prepped and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is just cover the cards there. I like to do it. They, it, when I gesso these these uh, little bits of cardboard, they seem to curve up a little wee bit when they dry. I like to use that side when I'm as the top, or like the the front. So all I'm going to do for these cards is put an absolute tiny little bit of paint, just a little bit, a little bit of purple, just a bit. I can put it right on the brush because I'm not going to use very much. And I'm just going to put bits of color around on the card. So if that's a bit too much. Well, maybe I'll have a little more purple on that one. This one's a little bit translucent, this purple color. Um, what I'm doing this for is because I created like um, a little garden scene on a journal page, but what I did was made a really, really colorful background. Then I drew a flower on, then I painted the background out with a tr translucent paint and let the flower pop, the, the background colors pop, and it turned out really, really cute. So I'm going to try to do some um, ATC cards for trade using the similar background. I'm almost out of this yellow and it's my favorite yellow. It's really pretty. Whoop, kind of clogged up in there, isn't it? I always have a rag tied to the side of my chair. People wonder what I do with stuff like that. <laughs> I keep it really handy so it won't go anywhere. So I'm not, I'm not even being, I'm not even holding onto the brush right. I'm just blobbing on color. That's all I'm doing. Back to my rag again. Uh, different color. Oh, this orange is a pretty color too. So let's put a little bit of this on. Yep. And this one's coming out a little bit better. So. I want these to be kind of a nice, it's winter. It's really, really cold and miserable outside. I want these to be nice and bright and friendly, cheerful. I'm tired of the blah, horrible feeling that winter gives me when I'm stuck inside, especially because I just had knee surgery six weeks ago and I'm a little unsure of my footing when I get around outside. Um... I just keep feeling like I'm going to fall down. And I do not want to slip and fall right now. There, look how pretty this is turning out. Okay. So I've used the orange, the purple, the yellow. Let's use a little bit of this neon. This neon is oh, to die for. Oops, shake that off. These paints are forever drying and clogging up on the top on me. Oh, isn't that pretty? Just a bubble, that's all I want on each one. Oops, made a bit of a mess. There, these are starting to 
smear a little bit. I got a little bit too much paint on them, but I want more. So I'm going to give a bit of a dry. They're not quite spread out enough. Let me see. I have... A little brush. Here's a little brush. Let's see if I can spread some of this. There's some there. Let's get some of that spread around. Send some of these out a little bit. I'm going to put a ton more color on top of these. This is just a base. And it actually looks kind of yucky right now, but it's going to be awesome, believe me. Now I can dry them a little bit. I'm going to cut this out. I hope, or all you're going to hear is this dryer. There. I had my cord wrapped around my chair. My cat's playing in here. She just meows at the door if I leave her outside. Right now she's climbing up the back of my chair and trying to get on my table, which is no fun. She climbs all over my shelves. Her favorite thing to play with are my planner clips, especially the little felty ones that I'm so fond of. She's just terrible. There, that'll let me put a little bit more paint on. Okay, they're not quite dry, but enough so I can put a little more paint on. So here, I'm going to... Hi. Um, it, well, it's been a couple of hours for me, but only a couple minutes for you. So, um, I am back. These are... They took a long time to dry. It's cold in here today. Um... But yeah, they're all dry, and they had to be really dry for what I'm going to do for my next step. This one, look at this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that yellow paint crackled a little. Oh, all the paint on the top crackled a little wee bit. Isn't that strange? I wonder if it did it on any of the other cards. No. Hmm. I wonder why. It usually doesn't happen unless you're putting paint over top of glue that's not quite dry. That's funny. Anyway, I kind of like the look of it and it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do next, and this is, this is what they look like. And then they're pretty as it is, like just the colors. But I'm going to pick some pens. So a plain black marker. Um, a signal white. I have the signal uniball signals and I have the Sakura jelly rolls But for this I like the signal pens better um, Let's grab my sharpies because I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing And Some of the uniball visions, so I have these pants. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use so I'm going to take one card, let's set these on this side, I'm going to take one card at a time and I'm, I'm just going to doodle, um, absolutely just doodle. So I'm going to try my Uniball Vision to start with and I think what I'm going to start doing is on this purple one. There. And over here, maybe some circles. On this yellow. I love my little plus signs. 
They make such good little decoration when you're doing something. Anything. There. I'm going to grab the white and go like this. Now with these, with the Uniball pens, the Uniball Vision and the, um, the Signal, the lighter you press, I've said this before, the lighter you press, the better the paint comes out. And if it gets clogged because it just gets rolled back up or it picks anything up off the paper, just clean the nib. I'm uh, not doing much talking right now, but I'm just doodling. Now this is nothing, none of this is going to show in whole when this is done. Um, but this is all going to be picked up in the flower when I'm done making a flower or whatever print I decide to put on here. Blue and orange goes good together. So how about this? Sharpies are always a good old standby, and they're cheap. They're a great thing for, like, they're a great pan. You can get them in different color, colors. Um, they're permanent. They're ultra fine point, or these ones are anyway. So you can draw almost anything with them. And they're just great for backgrounds. I'm just going to do some aura lines in this one. If you wanted to get really fancily, <laughs> fancily, really fancy on something like this, you could do zen tangling in any of these little colored spots. But but see what's happening. The card is getting interest. It's. I mean, it's almost a little piece of art by itself now. Just doodling. Nothing difficult, nothing fancy. I don't even know which parts of this are going to show up when I'm done because I'm not. The next part is not written in stone. So. That's enough of the blue, I think. Um, I'm going to put some more white on here. What am I going to do here? Thank you. 
Here, how about just some polka dots? I'm sorry, my husband's watching TV. And it's quite loud out there. I might go out and ask him if he'll turn it down a little bit. There, I'm back. And that's much quieter. They are sorry about that. I'll finish doing my little polka dots. And some more white up here. Um, I might even do this. Just some little bits of white. I'm very, very little bit there. No, it doesn't, the white doesn't show up very much on that. So I'll go for a different color. I might put a little bit of green dots on this little bit of yellow. And there. Like I said before, I don't even know how much of this is going to show up. Some of it just may get covered over. And red, red and orange. I live in a tiny little house. Well, I guess it's not that tiny, but I mean, it's not a tiny house or anything like that, but it's a small house. And my craft room is just down the hall, a few feet from the living room. And it's not very soundproof. So sometimes if my husband's home, like we are right now, this time of the year, we're both not very busy. And our noises clash so that's one and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other or not the exact same thing but I'm gonna doodle just like that on the rest of the cards I'm not gonna make you sit and watch through all that I'll come back and show you when I'm done okay hey okay, I'm back so I've doodled on all of these cards they're all different so right now I have six backgrounds six backgrounds that all complement one another because I've used the same colors and the same technique in each one but they're all different so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna set these six aside I'm gonna do these cards now one at a time and I'm gonna treat each one as a starting background and I'm going to make an ATC card out of them. Now I like this one. I like the way I've doodled. I've done, I decided to do kind of flowers and leaves and organic shapes. So what I'm doing now is I need a flower. I need a highlight on, I'm going to use this because it's a mark. It's a permanent, it's just a permanent felt marker. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to I'm going to doodle or draw however way you want to put it a flower on this one and a few more leaves and shapes. And 
something coming into there. We'll go down there like that. This is just look like looks like a little bit more doodling, but wait till you see what I do when I'm done. Okay, so there's that. That's going to be the focal points, kind of, of my ATC card. I'm going to grab some paint. And what color should I choose? I think... I think the purple. No, I want it to be kind of a translucent color. There's this sky blue that I didn't use in the actual card. And I only have a little bit left, but I think there's enough to do this. Oh yeah, there's lots there. And I need to grab a paintbrush that I have some control with. And now I'm going to paint the card but I'm gonna paint outside the lines make it a nice thin coat I might want to water this down tiny 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 bit add some water to my brush there that might be better yes I should probably use a smaller brush, but on a project like this, I just don't have the patience. Yeah, I'm gonna have to anyway. <laughs> um, let's see. gonna work. I need some new paint brushes. I haven't bought paint brushes in years and some of mine are getting really 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 tattered. No that's not the right one either. I'm going to have a whole bunch of paintbrushes in here. This one is. And it's a little bit flatter. Yeah, that's better. Now, I'm only doing one coat on this. I don't want to, I don't want it to be completely, completely covered because when it dries, I want some of that doodling and I want some dimension. So some of that doodling and stuff will still show through from the back, which will give it some depth. But the actual doodle pictures, which are in the bottom, once this background die, dry, dies, dries, it's going to look like I painted them on here after. Now I think 
anybody else has seen this out there somewhere and knows where they've seen it, they can let me know. But I think the original person that I saw, I think the original person that I saw, oops, I really want that to be down here. There. That I saw doing this technique was on the video channel Cat Hand, and she does all kinds of almost like uh, tutorials. Um, I've done a few of hers that she has some really, really, really good ideas. And I just like trying things when I see other people do them. And that's kind of the point of me doing this too. So if you want to try it, you can try it. That's definitely enough. I'm just getting a baby wipe. This is a really watered damp paint. As you can tell how it's spreading. And clean that up. And let this dry. Maybe I'll hit it with the heat. Just It's really thin, so it's going to take like two seconds to dry. Before that's completely dry, I think I kind of went over too much right there. So everything that I've used on here is waterproof. So that blue paint should just wash right off. There, good. There. That's what I'm looking for. Now the colors that are in behind seem to be brighter. So what I'm going to do now is just make these lines pop again. Make those lines nice and bold. Now, these permanent markers are just from the dollar store. They're cheaper than the Sharpies. They do the same thing. There. there can you see that and now that it's starting to dry although I painted the blue on after I did all the color and you can tell because you can see it through just hints of it not a lot and it looks like the flowers and the leaves are popping off the page I'm going to look for a quote um, I'm going to edge this the same as I do with my other cards just with this Sharpie. I love this little wedge. It's perfect for this. I don't think I need to smudge around the edges. Just a nice crisp line is going to be good enough. It just covers up this fact that this is just a cereal box. Or maybe a bit of packaging. I can't even remember now. <laughs> there. So I like that. That's really pretty. I am going to 
find the word wish or bloom or something else that will suit this as a card. And then I am going to give the whole thing a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it. And it will be done. And I will add some pictures at the end of this video. So you'll be able to see what word I chose then. And I'm going to call it for done, done for now. So bye bye for now. Thanks for joining me again. If you like this video and want to see more things like this or my planner stuff, um, I think right now I can announce the fact that my husband, whose hobby is music, he writes his own songs and, and uh, records them and plays them. He played in a band for a while, quite a few years actually. And he is going to record some of his original music, just playing the guitar and singing along the songs that he has written himself. And he's going to let me publish them on my channel. So I will start a separate playlist for that when it's time to post the first one, which will be soon. And so if you're interested in something like that, or you, or you think you know some friends that would like to be watching something like that, share the channel with them and have a great day everyone wherever you are. Bye.